Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Lucinda and Kerrigan. So glad you're here. I am doing a getting ready with me video right now. And it's also an unboxing video combined. So I hope you're having a good day so far, a good Thursday. I woke up late. Well, I knew that was going to happen because I was so exhausted from being up late doing karaoke at the bar last night. I don't know what time it is right now. It's like after 2 p.m. Hold on just a moment. Gotta blow my nose real quick. I still gotta take my allergy medicine, guys. Oh, I missed. I missed a trash can. I'll get it. So, recapping last night. Yeah. One of the videos, the video that was over 90 minutes accidentally got deleted. That had like the most, the longest part of the show. My cat just walks in front of the camera like it's no big deal. Sorry, that was baby kitty. And only like three other videos that we attempted got saved and got uploaded and everything to YouTube. So when... Kim was moderating. Thank you, Kim, by the way, for moderating my video. I accidentally clicked on that somehow on Lloyd's phone. I don't know how that happened, but I'm glad you decided to do it and stuck to the plate. You're a good woman up there in Canada. Um, so that video somehow got deleted when Lloyd's boss called and um, it froze the phone. So the video froze and, you know, technical things can happen. Technical difficulties can happen. I tried to recover the video, but I couldn't. It, it was like YouTube, in the blink of an eye, deleted the video and it was gone. So we restarted it. But next time, next week, if we go up next Wednesday, we're going to tell his boss to not call because it'll disrupt the video, disrupt the live stream. Um, or film off my phone, just keep my phone charged. But his phone has better picture quality. He has an iPhone 11, mine's an iPhone 8, and it's getting older. I mean, you can see me clearly right now. I'm on my phone, but... WSIL celebrates Juneteenth. That's cool. They're celebrating it a little early. Just got a notification that our channel, local channel news station, channel WSIL News 3 is celebrating Juneteenth. I celebrate it too. And also it's because that's the day I met my fiance. That's the day we met at Aldi's in Marion in 2012. We didn't start dating on that date, but I like don't know the exact date that we did start dating. So I just say we started dating June 19th for reference because it's easier. Now that it's a holiday too, it's easier to remember that we met and it seems like when I look back, we almost did start dating on that date because it was like love at first sight. So, you know, if you believe in that. But let me get to doing my makeup real quick. Well, I should really cleanse my face and stuff, don't you think? I mean, you don't want to just like throw on makeup and irritate it worse. Yeah, my face has got a long way to heal, guys. It's got like at least a couple weeks. I had to not pick. Someone told me to pop this last night. Well, I shouldn't have listened to them. I picked it when I woke up because my nerves was high. I had a bad dream. I'll tell you about my dream real quick before I get to the makeup and unboxing. Baby kitty, enough. Um, she walked by the phone again. This is up against some books, the phone right now. Um... I dreamed I was in the Hunger Games in District 3 and that I was fighting and won the battle. My district won the battle. 
So I I have seen the Hunger Games movie, the last one that came out like earlier this year and stuff. So maybe it was a flashback to the movie. Um, but let's get my skincare going and makeup going. And if the video's not too long, I'll do the unboxing real quick. So let me get this. Hold on, hold the line, guys. Won't be long. I have to grab my cleanser and my moisturizer. This is my generic Cetaphil. And you can do this sitting up in the bed, like what I'm doing. You don't have to have water to use this stuff. That's what's so good about it. Just generic Cetaphil from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to... You can use this with or without water. And that's why I love it so much. Because sometimes I don't feel well enough to go to the bathroom and use the water. And I think this almost is better to do it this way. More moisturizing on the skin. You know, just to wipe it off with the towel and then put more moisturizer on. It's just quick and easy. I like things that don't take a lot of time and effort. And I don't have makeup on. I removed it last night. So this shouldn't take too long. So circular motions. And... Thank you to one of my subscribers that was at the party last night at the bar for filming parts of the show. He wants his name kept anonymous, so I'm going to leave his name anonymous, but thank you to him. Um, he didn't want his name mentioned, um, and if I had received any tips, I would have get, paid him for helping me film the show. Plus, I would have needed some gas money, guys. That's why I was asking for tips. I needed gas money to give to whoever was taking us home. Um, but no one tipped. That's always an option on my channel. I mean, you don't have to tip, but it would be nice if you guys helped me out once in a while to keep my channel going. And eventually, I'd like to monetize and one of my subscribers was saying, does she have to tip to be participating in the live stream? No, I was just saying it would be nice if you guys could show, show your support. If, you, if you're able, if you're financially able, which I know um, because of our government, a lot of people are struggling right now to even put food on the table like we are. We're struggling to put food on the table. So, and I'm in debt with um, several of my creditors. So, I'm struggling right now really bad. And that's also why I asked. Because anything I can get to them would help. I, I'm past due with my bank. Um, one of my credit cards I found out yesterday. I didn't tell my fiance yet because I forgot about it till just now was charged off and closed so I don't have to worry about that account no more I was hoping they would do that soon because I just wanted to be free 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 from having to worry about paying it because I know I couldn't afford to pay it anymore and the other one will probably be charged off soon too and um you know, that looks bad under credit charge-offs, but at least it freezes the interest on the account. And most of those companies will then take whatever you can give them. And once the balance is completely paid off, they update your credit report and mark that it was paid in full, that it was charged off for slash paid off in full is how they put that on your credit report. You could tell what I used to do for a living. <laughs> I was a credit clerk for two different companies years ago in Texas. So that was my old job. So if you guys ever have questions about credit, I could probably answer it because I used to do that. Now I have a passion for singing 
obviously, as you saw last night, I sang My Heart Will Go On. I sang I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Mark Chestnut, the country version. And that was a duet with Lloyd. I know you guys won't see that now on the replay because that video got deleted. I sang It's Your Love, another duet with Lloyd, uh, Faith Till and Tim McGraw's song. And I sang Angels by Robbie Williams. But the only song you're going to see is that last one. And I'm sorry, but there was technical difficulties, like I said, with the camera. Is it still pumping? No. Okay. I was making sure I closed it. So that's my quick daily skincare for the day. Okay, now I'm grabbing my foundation. Hold the line, guys. Now grab my foundation. This is my CoverGirl Classic Beige. It's almost empty. I've got a new bottle, though. I'm just going to set the cap right there. Shoot, I almost spilled. Because something was, I thought, in the bed and was... Oh, it was Baby Kitty coming up. I saw her out of the corner of my eye and she distracted me, so. Sorry guys, I was moving this towel because I don't want to get all over this beautiful new blanket. Now mind you guys, I'm just doing this on camera. I don't have my mirror in front of me, so I don't know how good this is gonna look. I'm zooming in so I can see. I'm just covering up you know, I wear makeup pretty much every day. Pretty much every day now. That's why I buy extra bottles of the foundation and everything. And this is the only foundation my skin is tolerating while still while still healing. And no, it didn't cause what happened on my forehead. I'm not sure. I just woke up one day a few days ago and... I had a new spot on my forehead. I'm like, did I break out? What happened? Or did the cats fight in my sleep? Or was it a spider bite? You know, because, I mean, there's spiders in here too, guys. Not just other things in this room. Yeah, this did spill a little bit. I'm going to wipe the edge of the bottle. Hey, baby kitty. What, shaking bacon? Yeah, now this towel is dirty. Obviously, because I did my makeup and stuff. Now we're going to get to the quick unboxing. Yay! You waited probably for th this next part more than what you've already seen. But thanks for hanging on. 12 minutes. Now 13 minutes. I got this package from Turning Point Ministries. Thank you, David Jeremiah, for sending me another book. It's a book that I ordered. And let's see. Tear on preparation. It's in Spanish. Looks like it's in Spanish. Tear here for product. Okay. On the reverse side, it's in English. Well, I, you can obviously tell. I mean, it's perforated. And see, that's what it looks like. It comes just in a cardboard box. And you just have to rip it without going too close to where the product is obviously the item is because that that is a risk with this packaging i wish they had better packaging but they obviously don't this is keep the faith it's a book by dr pastor david jeremiah how to stand strong in a world turned upside down and this will be the next book of his that I read after I finish the one I'm working on called um, The God You May Not Know. It's in my storage bin. I may start reading this one just to see what it's about, how I like it, because this seems like a shorter book than the one I'm reading right now. This seems pretty short. 188 pages. That's not bad. That's less than the Joyce Meyer book that I'm reading right now. New York Times best-selling author. Thank you, David Jeremiah, for sending this to me. 
Why is this happening to me? Every day someone in the world faces challenging moments and circumstances. Isn't that true, guys? And that someone might be you right and that someone might be you right now. Perhaps in your marriage, your career, your health, your personal integrity. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're feeling vulnerable during a difficult time in your life, it is important to embrace your faith in God's everlasting love. And keep the faith respected author, Dr. David Jeremiah, focuses on four common daily battles that can chip away at your confidence in God. Fear, discouragement, worry, and doubt. <clears throat> Excuse me. He then explores four blessings that are sure to bol 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 say bolster, booster your faith when challenges inevitably come. Grace, perseverance, responsibility, and fortitude. The uplifting messages of encouragement and strength found here are curated from the wisdom and insight of five of David. <clears throat> I keep losing my voice. Hold on, guys. Take a drink of some diet soda. The uplifting messages of encouragement and strength found here are curated from the wisdom and insight the five of David Jeremiah's best-selling titles, Slaying the Giants in Your Life, Captured by Grace, Everything You Need, Searching for Heaven on Earth, and A Bend in the Road. Regardless of the circumstances, joy and healing are yours when you realize that God will hold you up to help you face whatever comes your way. And by the way, I wore my new shirt. I'm still wearing it. I got it from Goodwill. Uh, wore it for karaoke last night to hold myself up. Yeah, I'm big chested, okay? But, yeah, this looks like a good book. But I'm mentioning my shirt because um, some guys at the bar last night thought I was flirting with them, which wasn't the case. But my man put them in check real quick. But this is the new book from David De David. Jeremiah, keep the faith. We all need to keep the faith, whether we're believers or unbelievers. Um, whatever you believe, believe what you believe. That don't matter to me. I'm not trying to push Christianity or any religion onto nobody. Just, if you're going through a hard time, keep the faith. That's my advice. And that's coming from... 45 years of life on this planet Earth. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves and each other because we all need someone. And I got to touch up my hair. It's still frizzy. I need to put some leave-in conditioner or something in my hair off camera. And sorry, I have like a little itch. Like I said, take care of yourselves and each other because we all need someone. And thank you once again for a great night last night. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends and family who may like my channel. And, you know, sharing is caring. So appreciate all of you locally and long distance friends for being there for me this year. This has been a great year. Let's keep it up. Let's keep the momentum going and let's get more subscribers so I can eventually monetize this channel. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.